Hello, my posse. How's everybody doing today? Oh, I'm so excited today. I hit 500, my milestone. I want to thank you all so much. I'm on here to say thank you and how, ooh, did I put this on, how much I appreciate you. Um, I'm just so happy. I'm going to have a giveaway pretty soon. I'm going to wait a little bit, a couple more videos, and then I will have all the information posted below. And you know, um, for all my posse and my new subscribers, um, that I have written four books. And uh, part of my giveaway uh, for my 500 subscribers is going to be a signed copy of each of my books to you. Uh, the first one is Beauty Control, Tips from Head to Toe, Look and Feel Years Younger. I've got a great diet book for you, Finding the Right Diet for You. And I'm going to give you a signed copy of my cookbook. It's called um, A Little Bit of This and A Little Bit of That, Recipes That Satisfy. And I do have another book that I wrote. Um, I should have brought it in, uh, but it's a, a book on job market, um, getting the best out of your interviews. Um, so I will give you a signed copy of that and also a gift card from Altus or Sephora. So whoever the winner is, you get to pick uh, which uh, place that you want and I'm gonna send it to you. And I'm very excited to uh, be able to do that because without you, um, you know, I'm nothing. And um, I told you I started this uh, journey. Really, I went kind of steady July, August of uh, 2018. I made a couple here and there at the beginning of 2018, but I really wasn't, you know, thinking about it that much um, and just um, began to take off and I just uh, I'm so grateful that you all enjoy me um, and that you like to uh, listen to me and you like to get my beauty tips and I'm sure that my posse knows and for all you new subscribers I am 76 and I follow my own beauty oh no I'm not 76 yet oh oh I'm 75 I won't be 76 67 till actually the 24th of this month and um, and then I'll go to my next journey <laughs> so I'm very excited about my birthday uh, video coming up it's going to be a surprise and a collab um, and I'm not going to tell you a thing about it it's a secret till then so for today uh, I'm just on here uh, for a minute just to talk to you a little bit about um, uh, your hair I know, you're probably going, well, I don't want to know about hair, but I just wanted to touch base with you a little bit um, about your scalp and your hair and um, and uh, the things, the feel-good things. Um, you know, we all talk, we're all beauty experts, uh, and we talk about skin and what's the best makeup for your skin and whether you're oily skin, whether you like matte, whether you like a glow, whether you like a highlight, we, we have many tips for you on uh, various beauty products out there that makes your outer self uh, look beautiful. And I think one of the things for me uh, that I learned a long time ago when I was a hairdresser um, was that um, people like their scalps taken care of. And when I shampooed my client's hair, they absolutely love me. I mean, they would not let anybody shampoo their hair but me. And I think it was because, I know it was because of my massaging technique and I gave them what they wanted. And my boss used to get mad because he'd say I took too long with my shampoos and time was money. And so he actually said, well, if that's what you want to do, then I'm going to make your uh, customers pay for it. And I'm like, whatever. For 50 cents more, you had to pay for a massage. And uh, of course the girls were mad because they didn't want to do it. But my customers always paid for it because they just liked the way I took the time to massage their scalp. And I think today when you go to the salon, you just don't, you just don't see that today. I mean, I get in and out of the chair when I go. Um, I don't go as often as I used to. In fact, I went back to doing my own coloring of my hair. But uh, when I'd go, uh, because I wear wigs, but when I would go um, to, to get my hair done, I mean, they were so fast. I mean, it's like, you know, nobody must takes the time to just give you that nice, great, you know, massage that you need. Nobody, nobody, nobody took the time, but I did. And I had a lot of clients and um, I know I had hired a shampoo girl to, sh 
to help me with my shampooing and uh, nobody would let um, them shampoo their hair but me. So it's all in how they, um, they like the massaging. And so I, I and I've been doing that uh, trick even for myself. And you know, a lot of times, like I say, you hear about beauty products, but you know, you've got to take care of your scalp and you've got to take care of your hair. And your scalp really just kind of sets the flow to me, the tone of how you, how you feel all day. And I, I personally always just take a, a wide tooth comb like this and before my shower in the morning, I just dig it into my scalp and I just stimulate my scalp. Um, and it just feels really good and I just have always done that and my own hair even though you all know that I wear wigs um, occasionally I do wear my own hair so I mean if I go if I'm out or you know we go to a motel and I swim or something you know I have been known to put a wig on even then but no but my own hair really is very healthy very shiny um, very, very healthy because I do take care of it and I use the right product for my hair. And just like we talk about, um, you know, using the right product for your face to make your face uh, look uh, the best that it can be, you need to do that for your scalp also. I mean, it starts from your, from your scalp down. It, it isn't just your face, although that seems to be the primary focus. But as far as something that makes you feel good about yourself, it really starts from from the scalp and you know how good you feel when you know you do find the stylist that does do a great massaging job and you know how good that feels so it you know that the stimulation is good and my own hair is very healthy uh, I have it highlighted and processed just like this my my wig on which by the way this is spice coconut by Polly Young one of my favorites uh, but I do have my own hair I haven't had it done recently but I have it uh, highlighted this color so my own hair has has highlights in it and uh, it um, it's delicate you know once all the processing is done and I buy the correct shampoo so just like you buy the correct makeup and the foundation for your type of face you need to do that for your own hair too I mean they have my hair is, is really oily even even really though I process my own hair my own hair and my scalp is very oily and um, I can get by every couple of days since I wear wigs without shampooing my hair if I don't have to but um, usually I do because I you know I do um, shower every day so um, I can get away with a cap on and not shampooing my hair but I find my hair still even with the processing my scalp is very oily because I am oily so I buy a shampoo that is for um, oily hair and um, when I had my own hair and I wore it all the time and I didn't use the right shampoo and maybe you're like like I was or maybe you don't wear wigs and then you know you go and you fix your hair at work in the morning and by midday it's like hanging or it feels like it's tacky or stuck to your head or it doesn't hold a curl. I mean you could be using the wrong shampoo for your type of hair. So I mean they have shampoos for oily hair. If your hair is exceptionally dry, your scalp is dry, um, just your body in general is dry, you need to find a shampoo that has a great conditioner uh, in it and some emollients and that hydrates your hair and scalp um, and stimulates it the same as um, you know uh, your face does and so buying the right shampoo for your hair is extremely important and massaging your scalp is really really important they have many 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 products on the market and uh, gosh when I was a hairdresser too we were just um, just we had products many products that we but we were told to use different products because you know if the if the customer liked the product and they liked you they would buy the product that they had and spend boku bucks for that product from the salon which the salon would make money on the product so I don't know so much today if that's true but there's a lot of great drugstore products for your hair that you need to try and I've told you I think before that um, my just bend down here sorry my my two of my favorites said and I, and I have my license so I can go to the beauty supply house and I can buy just about any any shampoo that there is on the market and conditioner and I have bought some but I didn't find them to be that much more beneficial to my hair uh, or shine wise or texture wise than I did uh, drugstore products and my personal favorite has always been uh, the Pantene products I buy this one it's beautiful lens it's a two-in-one conditioner 
and um, and then also I change it up with this one that's smooth and sleek and this one here is uh, a shampoo and conditioner and if my hair is just a little extra dry maybe from the processing the um, the smooth and sleek one is good and CVS always has great um, sales on these my husband like I told you before he's a coupon guy so um, he we buy stuff there and he knows how to buy and we'll go in when we have the 30% coupon or the 25% coupon. Now you can't use those coupons when things are on sale, but if we have bought stuff before that they have at the store, even at CVS marked, if you buy this product, you get a $5 um, uh, cash reward. So we've he saves those up and when he gets so many of them, I just go in and I stock up on my Pantene products or whatever products I need. And the $5 rewards, $10 rewards, can go towards the stuff that is not on sale. So I do my stocking at CVS when he saves me enough coupons and it's a great thing. So, you know, they have many varieties of shampoo. L'Oreal also makes a really, really good shampoo. So it's kind of like, you know, hit and miss with your hair, but find one that works for you. Um, stimulate your scalp. Uh, it, it, it's great for hair growth. It's great for the way you feel. Um, uh, and just like your face, you got to find the right product for your hair. If your hair is super dry and you think you need a conditioner, by all means, um, do massage a conditioner into your scalp. Um, and, you know, when you're done, just uh, out of the shower, dry it gently. You know, don't do one of these numbers if your hair is processed, but gently dry it and use the wide tooth comb and cut into it. Uh, when you comb it out, especially if it's long so you're not pulling at your hair. So keeping your hair is just as important. It starts your beauty tips from head to toe. It really starts the process of, uh, of how you feel and how you feel about yourself. And taking that extra five minutes a day to massage your scalp is really, uh, really important. And uh, there's also many rinses on your hair, you know. I remember, um, uh, uh, real quick, we uh, when I was in beauty school, I was just about ready to graduate, and we had a um, class to go to. V Vidal Sassoon was in town. For all of you who remember or who still buy Vidal Sassoon products, I'm not even sure that I, I guess I'm not looking for them, so I don't. I guess they're still out there. Uh, but he came to town a lot, and we went to this uh, hair show, and he was showing us all the different rinses that were uh, you could use. Um, in the salon to make money. It was all a money-making thing and um, and how you could charge extra money for these shampoos and or rinses. And one, of course, was the beer shampoo. Uh, most of you, you remember the old beer trick, you know, you'd take a beer, you know, shampoo it, and, or I mean, rinse it and take a little bit more and rinse it on your hair. <laughs> no, we, we didn't drink it. We, we did use it at the, uh, at beauty school, though, I don't know how we got away with bringing beer in there, but I'm sure there were some girls who were in the back room <laughs> opening up the beer cans, but we did have beer rinses and they charged you for them. And I remember uh, one time he had one that was uh, an egg rinse and he was telling us that you could get, you know, $4 more or $3 more from your customers if you did this egg rinse. And we were like, oh, this is great. I mean, we were about to graduate and go into the salon end of it. so. We were really excited about this egg rinse and, you know, him and his, um, you know, uh, people that worked for him, entourage of people were back there, you know, whipping up this egg and um, he would put it on uh, the hair. I think it actually was egg whites. You kind of mix, mix the egg white and you put it on the hair. And, you know, they rinsed it off and then we went back to the chair. And, you know, it worked really, really well on curly hair. We went back to the chair and we, um, you know, he rinsed it off and dried it. And the, I'm telling you, the hair was real. We were like, wow, that's really shiny. I mean, we went back to beauty school class, you know, and we were like telling our instructor, oh my God, this is really great. Uh, we could charge more for it. Well, he said when we get to the salons, we were all so excited. And so I was gonna be the first guinea pig because I was, you know, um, in line to graduate. I think the, the next week, I think I was taking my test. And um, so I go back there and I'm the one, you know, we were mixing, he took the egg and put it on this lady's hair. And um, 
we were just all excited and there was about five girls standing behind the booth. And we had told the lady that this is something new that we learned from Bidel. And she was like all excited to be, you know, all the first one to try it. And we got back there and we were all standing around while I took the water and then started to rinse it off of her hair and uh, the egg cooked. <laughs> And it was like coagulated all over her hair and we all the girls were standing there watching this like this They were like deer in headlights and then they all started laughing and they took off and they left me in the shampoo bowl with this lady Who was like oh she was so excited she was getting a Vidal treatment and the whole egg was just All over her hair and they left me there to pick out all the pieces of this egg that had cooked on her hair and we were like what? So then our instructor said, well, did you use cool water? And we said, well, nobody told us that we had to use cool water. So the water was really hot and it cooked the egg. So that was that was the end of our, our egg shampooing. And even when I worked at the salon, I never did try that trick again. But there are a lot of good, a lot of good rinses uh, that you can use on your hair um, to uh, put some shine in it. And beer was like, Really, uh, I, I mean, I did it at home a few times, and it was it was pretty decent, actually. Uh, it, it did shine your hair and, and stuff, so it was good. But I think it all starts, just like moisturizer starts on your face, I think it starts with a good massaging. And, and massaging your face, you see what massaging can do to your face. Massaging can do that to your scalp and your hair, too. And I know it sounds weird to, you know, want to you know, massage your own self. I mean, it'd be better if you could get somebody just to do it, but you know, we're not like stars where people come in and do it. So we have to take care of ourselves. And I think when, you know, your scalp and your hair feels good, I think, uh, I think you just feel good all day about yourself. And you know, if your hair doesn't look good all day because of bad products that you use or too hot of a blow dryer on your hair, your hair stinks and you look bad all day, you, you feel ugly and bad all day. Your hair is a big, focal point of how you look. I mean, you can have the best makeup on in the world, but if your hair looks like crap, I mean, you're gonna feel like crap all day. You know, I mean, I've had many of those days where I put my makeup on and everything's fine and then my hair is like a mess. So you know that um, you have to feel good uh, with your hair too. So find a product that works for you, uh, stick with it. And if you find that after you, uh, you use your product a while and it doesn't work, uh, it's probably because it's uh, it it has a chemical buildup to your hair, and uh, is all you need to do is find a good um, uh, stripping uh, shampoo. But I know um, they have them in the drugstore now that are clarifying too. I'm sure L'Oreal has one. Um, I'll also link that in a picture if I can find a good one. It's a drugstore brand, and it'll strip all the. Uh, chemical and all the impurities out of your hair and you can start all over again using your favorite that was my tip for my head <laughs> I will have a tip for you uh, coming up again on your toes uh, and your feet that's kind of uh, that's kind of an important one too. It's it's beauty. It's beauty that um, you need to take care of, uh, not just your face, but I've told you before, it's a whole it's a whole body thing. And um, I think for my um, age, um, I'm doing okay. I'll see what the next ten years hold, but I think I'm doing okay. So if you follow my tips, when you're 76, I got your back. I got your back. So thanks for watching and uh, thank you for my 500 um, subscribers and I will see you soon and we'll get ready to do our giveaway. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Pass me along to your friends. Um, let's see how high we can roll. I love you. See you soon. Bye.